We want to make sure that they get the appropriate medication that really is appropriate and right for them. Most of our insurance companies and Medicaid require you to do their preferred drug first. So whether it's the cheapest drug or the one they can get most of, whatever, you have to do that first and fail before you can go to the next step. And that's why it's called step therapy. And that's why we have filed Senate Bill 112. And the goal is really to limit the step therapy practices that are so rampant for serious mental illness. It's also known as fail first. So if that one doesn't work, then the patient has to try another medication for another six to eight weeks and then another medication before they can get to the medication or treatment that the physician knows would be the best for the patient. The implications of not getting on the right drug as soon as possible are huge. You wind up with patients being Baker acted, you wind up with them in psychiatric hospitals, and there are also societal costs to that. This practice costs taxpayers over $271.5 million dollars annually. Hispanics make up uh, a quarter of all businesses in the state of Florida, so we represent a large constituents of, of entrepreneurs and small business owners. And this is such an important issue that plays into uh, the business community. Obviously, it has an impact, a financial impact, on workers having to miss work days. But I am so proud of the state of Florida that we are moving forward and taking terrific action to make sure that our patients who are suffering from any kind of mental illness are getting the appropriate treatment. Whether it's workforce or whether it's the criminal justice system, you're going, it has an impact on society as well as the person.